All right, let's talk a little bit about some of my favorite locks, Abus. I just love these things. I see them in Europe all the time, and they're really well-made locks. And uh, these are the uh, Abus Titaniums. These are brand new on the market. In fact, here in the States, I'm not even sure you can find these yet. But they're coming, believe me. These are very high-quality locks, Titaniums. And they come in different sizes, and if you flip on the back side, you can see this is an 80 tie for titanium slash 45, talking about the size of it. Now, why do I really like these, and why should you be interested in them? If you want to practice on security pins, believe me, this is the lock to have. This thing is just chock full of security pins, mostly mushroom pins. The other thing that the Abus are famous for, in addition to fine machining work, uh, very, very tight tolerances, is they usually would give you some kind of radical keying, as you see here. Some the, the bidding on these is just incredible, just making them really secure and a lot of fun to pick. Uh, these are all brand new. I'm a, I, I bought them because I like practicing on them. Uh, you can't shim them. Very tight machining, really good quality. I'm very happy with them. But anyway, this one, as you see, is a six pinner. So there's a couple little tricks I'd like to talk about uh, on uh, picking these abuses. Okay, you can use either top or bottom, but if you look at the keyway, you can see that there's plenty of room in there to get a bottom keyway. So we're just going to use that one because I have it handy. I'll just stick that dude in there. Now, as is true with any, basically any lock containing security pins, the first thing that we need to do is get a fault set. That's the first step. That's first base. Without that, we're not going to go anywhere. So let's go ahead and try to get first, uh, first base or the fault set. The way I do it, is purely random. Uh, you can do it pin at a time or you can, some guys like to rake them and I just put the uh, pick in there and I just start bouncing up and down and eventually hopefully I'll be hitting a fault set here pretty quick. Some guys like to use a snake rake. That works pretty good too. In fact in competitions that's kind of what they do is a combination of raking and then they pull out the single pin. Okay, there we go. After just a couple of seconds, we've already got a fault set. You can see it's bent over there, just at a slight angle. And, and I, can, I felt it move. It feels much larger than it looks like. You can really feel it come over. So now let's, uh, how do we go about getting the rest of it? I mean, we're on first base. Well, the rest of them are easy. Once we got that first one uh, on a clock containing security pins, the rest of them are pretty easy because they're, we're going to do a pole, and I like to, I'm an engineer, so I'm going to do everything logically. I'm going to go to the very back of the lock to begin with, and I'm going to ask them, do you want to be picked? And they're going to tell us. There's a language that these locks will speak. So I'm just going to put a little upward pressure on the sixth pin. Nothing, nothing, and I'll try to show you when we get, the, when we get a response. As we move up, one of them is going to talk to us. And I must have missed it first pass through. And there we go. It's the fourth pin. Uh, I'm going to try to put this up here so you can see. When I put upward pressure on that fourth pin, it, it's not very dramatic, but you can see the tension wrench moving. And that's because that mushroom pin is stuck in the cylinder. It's trying to get through when I get upward pressure, but it can't. So it gives us counter rotation on that cylinder. So, and so he's saying, yeah, I'm the one. I'm the first one you got to set, and bam. Uh, that one went a little faster than I thought, so I'm going to try to go a little slower on the next one. He just popped right in. It's just kind of unusual. So now, again, being the engineer, I'll go all the way to the back, and I start moving forward again, doing my polling. I'm looking for the next guy that's begging me to be picked. One by one, move forward. And again, I must have gone right over him. Where are you, you devil? There he is. He's, pinned. He's the one in the very back. Okay, try to show it one more time. When I put upward pressure, you can see the tension wrench springing just a little bit there. So here's the trick, uh, and this is true on all security pins, on virtually all locks. You don't pry that dude up there with your pick, because if you do, you're just going to jam him, you're going to overset him. So just put a little bit of pressure on him, just enough to make him move and get a little bit of feedback. And then what we're going to do, we're going to release with our left, my left finger, release a little pressure, and just he'll, he'll just slide in place. Very easy. And there he goes. He's in place. All right, so there's three. We just keep pulling, 
and we found the next one. It's pin number four. Let me, let me just double check that. Okay, we got a couple that are calling out to be picked right now. So there's number three. He's giving a bigger, he's calling out a little louder. You can see it's quite a significant play. So again, I put a little pressure, release a little bit on my left tension, and there he goes. Well, that was a big surprise. I have to tell you, these Babises are usually a lot harder than that. Abuses are famous for making you set the pins over and over, and I don't know if they engineer it that way or what, but usually they'll make you re-pick. So if you might, you'll pick four of them and get them all set. When you set that fifth one, as soon as you set the fifth one, two or three of the other ones will pop out of place. But there's no science to it. It's just pure logic. You just keep moving from pin to pin, finding the one that's calling out to be picked, applying the pressure, and just pop them in place. And that's why I love these locks, because usually... You may have to reset each of those six pins two, sometimes even three times until you hit the right sequence and pop the lock open. In this case, we just got very lucky. So anyway, keep at it. It's just a matter of practice, just a matter of feel, and uh, you'll be popping these locks uh, really quick. Anyway, thanks for your time. Uh, again, stay safe and always stay legal.